wrestling fans, this bout, one fall, a 20-minute time limit, your referee, Buddy Lane. Introducing first out of Phoenix, Arizona, at 240 pounds, he is Tom Zink. Zink. And his opponent, at 228 pounds, out of Tampa, Florida, accompanied by his valet, Precious, he is gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. Garvin, one fall, 20 minute time limit. Welcome to TSN, AWA Wrestling, the major leagues of professional wrestling. And you're in for an interesting experience. If you have not seen gorgeous Jimmy Garvin and his valet Precious, a lot of people strut. Nobody, nobody can do it quite like gorgeous Jimmy can. I am not exactly sure what Precious function is to be, but uh, she looks great. And she's going to help Jimmy get out of some of the glitter. Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin from Tampa, Florida, 228 pounds against Tom Zink. Tom, 240 pounds out of Phoenix, Arizona. A small weight advantage for Tom Zink, but the experience is on the side of Garvin. It takes a while. Gorgeous Jimmy will have to get out of some of his regalia. And joining me at ringside for commentary, the champ. Vern Ganya. Vern, great to have you here. Thank you, Larry. Nice being here. And uh, this shades of gorgeous George. Very definitely. If you, and want... if you remember gorgeous George, you're as old as I am. <laughs> <laughs> I remember gorgeous George. But, what uh, do you know about Jimmy Garvin? What can you tell us? Well, he is... Uh, he likes himself a lot. No getting around yes, that. Yes, he does. Now, this is a, a tremendous amount of hair, and if you're a wrestler, that's the kind of hair you love to get your hands in. <laughs> uh, the lady with him? That's precious. Good-looking lady. That's precious. Uh, I don't understand her function. She's beautiful. This is my There's first no time about. seeing these two people, Larry. Okay. Uh, the, uh, I, I haven't seen them either, Vern. We're going to find out if he can wrestle. He has been wrestling out of Texas. That I know. I think it's one and kiss really for the road. <laughs> Jimmy Rick. Garvin and Tom Zink. And Jimmy not ready to get started. He wants to do what? Push-ups. Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin wants to warm up a little bit. Vern, I think he'd take care of that before he got out of here. Well, he's, I guess... Right now, if Tom Zank had a little more experience, he'd start that match. The, the bell has rung. The match is on. Tom Zank seems to be a little bit, uh, I don't want to use the word intimidated, but kind of confused just at the presence of Jimmy Garvin in this ritual that he's going through. Well, the crowd obviously doesn't like Precious. They're circling now. Finally underway. Gorgeous Jimmy appears to be ready. Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin and Tom Zink. And Garvin takes the headlock. They go to the ropes. It's going to be a break. And gorgeous Jimmy broke clean. Now, he's been known not to do that. Jimmy Garvin and Tom Zink. Of course, Vern Gagne and Tom Zink, one of the best young wrestlers in the business. Yes, he is. He may even be Rookie of the Year this year. Uh, there have been a lot of, uh, especially young ladies, uh, riding in and... Uh, I, we think Tom Zink is beautiful. We think he's great. He's a fine wrestler, a nice looking boy, and he's a, he's a fine athlete. And I might add a fine young man. Nice headlock here by Tom Zink. Put the power on. You know, if you run that, that elbow or that uh, forearm blade up along that jawbone, that's where that headlock has a lot of effect. It really keeps you busy in there when that pain is running up along your jaw. It's got to do something to the circulation of the brain. I would now we're going to play leapfrog. Look out! Flying drop kick. We now know Jimmy Garvin can wrestle. Tom Zink is a big man and he is resilient. And he's right back to his headlock. Man. Yes, he is. That's the way to do it. Head scissors, kick out. And uh, well, uh, Garvin is showing us something here. I didn't realize he could move that quick. Tom uh, Zink is very fast uh, on the mat and uh, looks like. Drive Ironbrack, beautiful by Tom. Ooh. Jimmy's going to bail out. He wants a little encouragement from Precious. And Precious does not like the way that the crowd is reacting. They're claiming hair pull. I didn't see it. It could have happened. We only have one angle. Oh, there was no hair pull there. What? 
whatsoever. Well, Precious is taking her case to Buddy Lane, the official. He's not buying it. Jimmy just taking a little time for just Jimmy Garvin to regroup. And that, again, is where he may have his experience back to working over Tom Zink. Well, that's it. And, of course, with that uh, manager out, a little distracting referee and distracting Tom Zink, uh, he does have an advantage there, no doubt about it. Right back at it, they lock up. Jimmy with a leg takedown. Figure four on that leg. And, of course, the pressure comes there on the... Uh, the calf muscle. Buddy Lane, referee, right on top of the action. Now we know that the leg is about seven times stronger than the arm. So it would seem to me that Jimmy Garvin, when the speed is about equal, is doing a great job here, trying to take that away from Tom's leg. If you don't think that hurts, well, no, don't, don't <laughs> apply one of those to your friends and neighbors. Look at him crank that up. Jimmy Garvin. Tom, excuse me, Larry. He's got to get that uh, other leg uh, functioning and kick that attempt. It. When he comes around on that, to kick the, that foot up into the chest, kick him off of there. Right now, he should not be worrying about that pain so much. He's got to, he's got to get that other leg in action. He's got to be. I've said this before. I'll say it again. It's got to be almost impossible for me, anyway, to try to understand how someone in that kind of pain can even be thinking about getting out of the hole. That's where you, the pain threshold is a big factor in this. He tried to kick that time, Vern Gagne, and almost got There he it. comes, there he comes. There it is. Well, you heard the champ tell us how he had to get out of that, and that's what he did. Now they lock up. Why isn't Garvin going back to the leg, Vern? Why is he now going to the arm of Thompson? Well, well he's wrong. making the wrong move. He should have went back to the leg. You're right. Once you get that opponent going, you got to stick with that area going on, which is the best tactic. But who knows? Whatever comes up, you've got to take advantage of. Uh, Absolutely. Zank's arm was there. He took it and saw the advantage. But Tom, very wisely and quickly, countered. Every wrestling hole has a counter if you do it at the proper time. And Zank did it. And if just that a, arm was twisted too far behind, he'd never get it. In just about any sport you want to name, timing an extremely important element. And now, all of a sudden, gorgeous, gorgeous Jimmy Garvin has control again. Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin looked to be in trouble, but no more. Takes Tom Zink's head to the turnbuckle. Well, going to try that turnbuckle. Tom Zink stunned, and Jimmy's right on him. And now the takedown. He only got two. Burn, this is a... I have been told a camel clutch, or do you, is this a variation of it, or the basic chin lock? Well, that's a variation of the camel clutch uh, that uh, one of our uh, Arabic wrestlers uh, made popular here in America. But uh, Tom has got to stop worrying about the pain in the wrestling, and he's got to keep his head about it and start thinking about counters. He's getting caught too many in positions like this at the present time. Look at that. Tremendous pressure. Oh, he Tom pulled Zink. the trunks here to get him back down, get him off balance. Vern, how does Tom Zink get out of this hole? What do you do? Well, he's got the legs right there. He's doing the right thing right now. He's got to grab those ankles. He's got to make a supreme effort to lift with the rest of his body and send, what's his name, Precious? <laughs> gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. With all that hair, I want to call him Gorgeous. But he's got to actually doing it right now. But he should grab those ankles and send them flying on his face, if you see what I mean. If you'd grab those ankles. There, there we go. He did it. But he... Come on. Oh. oh! Jimmy Garvin off the ropes right into Tom Zink, and that got him and got him good. Now we're going with the slam. Nope. Boom. Snap now this. Neck. I don't see how a man's head stays on his shoulders. Gets his neck snapped over that top rope. And now Jimmy Garvin pouring it on Tom Zink. I think Garvin, with the experience he's got, fires him out through the ropes there. But he feels that if he can keep the pressure on this young man, he's going to keep rattling him up so he can't get back on the offense. Well, I don't understand that time why he threw him out of the ring. He had him, he had him in trouble, and now he's giving him a chance. Well, it's, it's a long way to the floor. If he can hurt him, he tries that. He's got him wore down a little bit, confused, throwing him onto the floor. If he hits wrong, not to win out of it, hit his head, make it a lot easier for him when he does get back in. 
And of course now he's got the advantage of being in the ring and the other man Tom Zink trying to get in. Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. If you ever played King of the Hill when you were a kid, this is very similar to King of the Hill here. You're on top, the man has to work his way back in. Buddy Lane has a lot of responsibility on himself as the official here. He's got to try to keep Garvin off the Tom Zink to help him get back into the ring. He also has to keep a count going. This time Garvin helps Tom Zink back in, but he's got nasty plans for him. Trying here for a soup play. That is a devastating oh, home. Oh. Now the cover. Cannot do it. Tom Zink kicks out at three. Now it looks like he's gonna go back to that. That could be called, we used to call that a Japanese strangle. Now uh, the referee's got to watch where that where that forearm is across Zink's throat. He's got to break that hold. It looks it appears to me from here, but you can't really tell. It looks like it's across the throat to me. Uh, or just Jimmy Garvin. Now there's the look at it. Does that look like a choke to you, Bert? Well, it sure does. Now it's on the side. It is. I'm. It is on the side. I can see some daylight there between the throat and the forearm. Tom Zink powering his way up. Can he get out of it? but Precious got the referee's attention away from that and Garvin pulled the hair of Zank, put him back down in that headline. And we now know what the function of Precious is. The mystery is solved. She distracts the referee, Jimmy Garvin goes for the hair. And right back on that chin line. Well, for many years, Bachwinkle had uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan, who of course is suspended from the AWA after a long, long time of distracting referees. Had a conversation with Nick Bachman the other day. He told me that if he was sound asleep and someone came up and went one, two, that he would kick out of his sleep before three. That that is implanted into his subconscious so strongly that he can wake up. I uh, have to go along with that. Beautiful effort by Tom Zink. Look at that headlock by Tom. Harvin throws him to the ropes. And that time, Zink got the forearm up. Apparently hit his head there somehow coming over. Very seldom are you going to see someone get out of a sunset flip. Tom Zink hit his head. And gorgeous Jimmy Garvin right back on the attack. <clears throat> right back to the head hole. Jimmy Garvin now following up the advantage that he established. Now it appeared to me Tom Zink's got to get to his feet. He's got to go out, I call it, go out the back door. He's got to come sit through, come out the back way here, underneath that arm into it. He's got a possible chance at the right moment here to work that into a hammerlock to his own advantage. You can see Precious on the outside watching every move, shouting encouragement to gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. Dom Zink working his way up. And again, we've got to watch now. I think every amateur wrestler knows how hard it is to come out from underneath. You're getting tired and wore down. It's tough. Well, oh boy, Tom. Yeah. You can hear the count shouting them for you. Corner. Backdrop. The ring shakes. He goes for the cover, but Garvin kicks out of it. The resiliency of a professional wrestler reaching down, finding a way to kick out when you don't have anything left. Knee left. Uh oh. Tom Zink misses the drop kick. He started that just a little too quick. He should have waited until the man starts coming off the rope. Experience. That's what he needs. And there it shows. Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin once again in the hair referee. Uh oh, watch this shoot play. Now he's grabbing the trunk. Oh, no! That is a form of all his head. He got him. Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin uses what looks like it's going to be a shoot play and brings it down in what I think is a form of a pile driver. Let's look at it in slow motion and hear the comments of Vern Gagne. Well, here we are. Driver didn't pick him up by the hair. Another illegal move. 
ducks under the arm. But there's the other part of this illegal move. Got the truck. Now watch. Wait down on his the back of his on Zink's head. Uh, as you said, a form of a pile driver. Very dangerous hole. Very dangerous hole for Tom Zink. And Tom Zink. It was indeed a thriller. And right now I want to talk to gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. Also with him is Precious Spring. What? I'm telling you, let me tell you something. First of all, gorgeous Jimmy Garvin has tackled a lot of big things in his lifetime. I've tackled, I beat up Dusty Rhodes, I beat up the Von Erics, it don't matter. I beat up the Briscoes. I'm not afraid of nobody. I'm the greatest looking man in the world, and I'm the greatest wrestler. But for gorgeous Jimmy Garvin and Precious to come to Canada, let me tell you something. I had to look way back in my mind, and I had to say, now gorgeous Jay, why do you want to go up there for? Now, why in the world, honey, like, why in the world would we want to leave the state of Florida or any other place we might happen to be taking sun at and go to Canada? So I said to myself, well, the people up there, we've been getting a lot of cards and letters from the people saying, I wish you'd come up here and do something about the wrestling. So I said, ooh, man, I don't know, man. That's, that's asking a lot. You know, I like to do things for the wrestling fans, but don't get carried away. So I said, but now I looked at a few tapes and I watched these Hennings, Ginnings, Hennings, whatever their name is, you know. And I heard about Ganyas and Yanyas and stuff like that. And I said, I need to go up there and tell them people who gorgeous Jimmy Garvin is because I am the greatest wrestler in the world. So now I find myself in the ring. You just seen that, right? You're right. People seen that. I feel so good. I feel so good inside because I said to myself, you are in the right place because these people do need help. These wrestlers that are walking around calling themselves wrestlers, these fabulous ones or whatever they're called, dancing around, it's disgusting. It's disgusting in the professional sport of wrestling, the greatest sport in the world, and you got people like that. Gorgeous. Let me, don't gorgeous me, I'm talking. I'm the one that's here now. You've been here, you're boring. I'm here, I'm not boring. And I'm sick and tired of everybody taking credit. They don't have no ability up here, man. You people are going in the wrong direction. Direction. I'm getting excited. I gotta stop because everybody up here thinks they're really something. And they ain't nothing. I'm gonna go in the ring with all of my opponents. I'm gonna teach them a good southern lesson. I'm gonna smack them around. Precious is going to keep spraying the air because it stinks up here. A lot of people are saying, well, what if you're such a big guy? What's she doing with you? Right. Hey, good question. She makes me comfortable. Take a look at her. She makes me comfortable. I deserve the best. I am the best. She makes me comfortable. I have no idea and what I'm leaving now. Down. I and have I'm no idea what Precious is doing with gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. We did not get a chance to ask. You very seldom get a chance to say anything when gorgeous Jimmy's on stage. Stay tuned. We'll have more later.